Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon or Rising. Libra, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for March 23rd to the 29th. This week we have the Leap Oracle card. We have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and yes, we do have the Tower energy here. Now, Libra, um, yes, the Tower is here. It's not to be feared. Um, we have obviously beautiful, strong, strong new beginning energy in this reading as well. Sometimes, you know, uh, the fears or the, you know, there's just something standing in the way of those new opportunities coming in. And obviously this tower was that thing that's coming down so that these can come into your life. Sometimes, you know, there's something better just waiting around the corner, but we have to go through, you know, the event or a little bit of chaos or a shattering of an illusion in order to access them. We also have the Leap Oracle card here, which is really, really similar to the full energy. You're really being asked to trust this process, trust in this journey, and have hope and faith. You know, this is a fresh new beginning, a whole new chapter starting for you. Um, but you need to, um, you know, maybe trust and take a leap of faith, even though you're not too sure um, exactly, you know, where this destination is heading at the moment. So I'm going to go to the tarot cards in a moment. I'm just going to read out the Oracle card first. Leap, you go first and the universe will catch you. Life bends for the courageous. The universe wants to support you, but first you need to leap, to throw your life up in the air. Well, the tower will do that for you guys. Perhaps you know that what you're being called to leap toward or away from, but are scared to make the move. Or perhaps you're waiting for a big fat sign or instruction manual or permission to do so first. If this is you, then this card is your sign and permission slip to take a deep breath and leap into the unknown. It's scary to let go of all that we know and hope for something new. And it's normal to feel anxious at the thought of letting go of what we know for sure. But this, this is the unavoidable process of rising and right now this is how you're being called to live. Oh, I was just tuning into that tower energy as I was reading that um, Libra because you know what? Sometimes, you know, of course the universe wants to, to support you. The universe wants to see you on your life path. And sometimes the universe intervenes in order to get you there. That's what the tower is. It is actually a blessing in disguise, even though it might not feel it at the time. The tower is a, um, a crumbling of a construct, a belief, a relationship, um, a job, um, even being in a certain location. It is a crumbling or a... A breaking of the illusion, a shattering, a destruction in a way of something as you knew it so that you know this can come down and create space for something that's more aligned for you to come in. So it's saying that whatever the situation is that's dissolving for you it wasn't for you or it was for a period of time so you could complete a karmic lesson or a contract, get the learning that you needed to from it but sometimes if we hold on too long that's when it really becomes a block in our lives and then it needs to come down the tower says that it was built on an unstable or an unsteady foundation anyway you know it, and that's why it only sort of takes a couple of pushes for it to come down that's the tower energy so it can feel chaotic you know some of you might be having to move homes through the ending of a relationship split childcare, all of those kind of things. Some of you may have lost money as well. Some of you may have lost a sense of yourself. But you are really strongly being called to take a leap of faith onto a completely new beginning. We've got three cards of new beginnings and new opportunities here. So it's really saying that this is what the was standing in the way, this situation, this tower. But, you know, it is the silver lining because it's here to get you back onto your path. It's here to serve your greater good when potentially you may not have taken that leap of faith on your own. This is the the tower. It's not a divine nudge. It's more like a design. Uh, so it's more like a divine push. <laughs> it's quite strong, this energy, but it is the universe's way of actually sending you loving energy. Um, and you will see that in hindsight a little bit down the track. The only uh, you know, warning to heed with the tower guys is to not rebuild it. We need to allow it to fall. We can't rebuild the same tower. Otherwise, we find ourselves you know, one month, six months, or even a year down the track in the same position where then we may have lost time, 
lost time where we could have been working on a new opportunity where a new person could have come into our life that could have been you know a life partner or soulmate or that kind of thing so if we do want to rebuild we have to rebuild a new tower so if that means if you're in a relationship and it's gone very sour you would need to rebuild that from a totally different place which would mean obviously counseling or something like that to completely shift the energy um, or you know in, in in the workplace if you losing one goal at uh, role sorry but you want to stay in that workplace you know maybe moving to a whole new team department that sort of thing so that's the tower energy yeah and I think um oh actually I did want to read that with this one but I <laughs> overlooked it till now obviously that has caused you a certain amount of conflict that situation anyway so I think you're probably ready to embrace the tower to bring it down you know five of wands is a card of conflict Kind of be, it can be petty conflicts that might have been what led up to the tower moment just escalating gathering momentum um, gossip workplace politics tit for tat niggling nagging that kind of energy and what I always notice in the five of wands since wands stand for our personal power and our energy is that these people are all using their personal power in a really unconstructive way so you might have been um, you found yourself in a situation with people that were either dragging you into that or whether it's in your relationship or um, bickering in the workplace really you know being part of that kind of niggling energy but what I love about this reading is we have the king of wands and the ace of wands which are both indicators of um, people opportunities you're really being um, given that power back and being called to use it in a really strategic way so we're moving away from this energy here um, at a number five, you know, number five is the card of conflict, and it's also um, sorry, it's also the number of change. So whenever I see fives, I know that the um, to transmute the conflict and really change is the antidote that helps you do that. So that's what we need to bring in, and that is what the tower <laughs> is doing for you in a very strong way. And I think that once that tower comes down. You are going to have vision and clarity like you haven't had in a really long time. Got the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands here. Now the Queen of Swords is somebody who is, she stands for victory. She also stands for transformation. I think you're going to transform and grow out of this event. She also knows how to, you know, carve out very clear boundaries for herself and use that sort of power to cut the energetic cords of the situation draw a line in the sand and now she's only um, focused on forward vision forward movement and she sits on that cliff top and she has that 360 degree eagle eye view meaning that she can see now with hindsight why the tower needed to come down it, because she can see on the horizon the opportunities that are going to come in and that is such a transformative process that and the King of Wands, again, this is about you, you know, getting back that personal power and using that wand to take the inspired action, the steps that you need to take in order to move your life forward in a really powerful way. It's about being strategic. The King of Wands is a great opportunist. He's a great entrepreneur. He can see opportunities coming. So I really feel this is about you getting back into your power, being victorious, gaining the vision clarity and hindsight after this tower comes down and um, you know from that position that's when you're going to be in the best place to receive the opportunities that are coming in for you really thick and fast we see and yes it is possible obviously Libra you know this is your energy with the Queen of Swords there could be a fire sign potentially fire sign male or embodies masculine energy coming in for you um, you may be bringing one of these opportunities to you so that would be Larry Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, but that is another um, another reading of that card. And then look at this, guys. Page of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. So here is what was behind that tower all along. Ace of Wands and Page of Pentacles are both new opportunities, strong new beginning cards, and you are being called to take a leap towards these opportunities away from the tower in this situation and towards these opportunities. The Ace of Wands can be a passionate new offer. It could be somebody coming in that you've got all the sexual chemistry and energy with. It can also be you coming back to your sense of energy and enthusiasm for life again, reconnecting with your spirituality. 
Um, it could be, you know, a job in the work, uh, an opportunity in the workplace or in business that you're very passionate about and aligns with your purpose as well. And the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a messenger that brings opportunity of stability, solidity, something in the material or financial realm. Together, these cards can say something that you're very passionate about coming in that could turn into something very stable, lucrative, and something that can lead to commitment as well. So in a relationship sense, it could be that fling that starts out all fiery, hot and passionate, but can turn into something solid. Same could be said about this if you think it's a workplace opportunity or job or way to make money for you, you know, something that you really, really enjoy doing that then starts to bring in those pentacles, brings in those coins. Page of Pentacles could be a younger earth sign, you know, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo that somehow has something to, a part to play in this and bringing this opportunity to you can be a child energy as well. So be on the lookout. You know, these are offers in their infancy, guys. So they're not like fully developed opportunities coming in on that silver platter. They're things that you need to keep your eyes peeled like the King of Wands and the Queen of Swords do. Could be meeting that stranger in the cafe somebody having a conversation with you about a potential job opportunity, but you need to seize that moment. You need to seize it and take the inspired action in order to allow this opportunity to sprout and grow. So beautiful. I love that. And just remember, you know, the universe wants to support you. It's got your back. Yes, it's brought in this tower moment, but then it's saying, you know what? I'll bring down your tower, but then I'll provide the safety net to catch you. But first, you need to be willing to leap. You need to be willing to jump from this tower in order to be caught and in order to land on these opportunities here. Okay, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. It's a really exciting reading. Yes, it could be a little bit tumultuous, but just think about the greater good. Um, do keep in mind it's a general reading, so it won't be for every one of you guys. Feel free to comment on the reading because I like to know if it's resonated with every, anybody, sorry, not won't be with everybody, and how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.